All right, so first things first. Here we are at ClickBank. I'm going to do this, uh, you know, no chit-chat here. We're just going to go straight to the marketplace. Like I said, I'm going to do just one product. You would go through here and pick four to six for yourself. All right. Um, we can go ahead and get to a – let's get to a category. Um, and seriously, I'm doing this kind of ad hoc. I am not sure. Let's just leave all categories because I don't know what category this would fit in. But the product I'm going to do is learn to play guitar. Let's see if anything – guitar. I'll tell you what, we should probably just do guitar and see what that hits, right? Jamarama, gravity's good, commission is a little bit low. This Jamarama, gravity low, commission is low. Um, okay, and gravity keeps going down. As a matter of fact, we can sort this by gravity because that is one of our main criteria. This one is the highest one, and even though that commission is a little bit low, I'm going to go ahead and go for that one. Okay, so we've got a gravity of 106.33, and I'm going to just grab this and copy that. I'm going to go over here to my ClickBank calculator or evaluator, which we will be looking at here in a little bit. I'll just paste that name in there. Again, I like to keep track of all of this stuff. And that allows me later on, you know, I can come back here and I can say, nah, that one uh, I already tried. It didn't work out because, to be honest, six months from now, I won't remember what <laughs> I don't remember anything I did. Um, while I'm doing this, though, remember, with a gravity of over 100, that means there's a good chance that we're going to be able to make some money at this. I like it to be over 30, but I'm going to pick this one because I want you to see what can happen. All right, you get 75% of the sale, but it's 25 bucks. Let's go ahead and click on the pitch page. And we'll scroll down, and I'll tell you what, I was looking at this a while ago. Uh, this particular site for another training I was doing. And uh, he's cleaned himself up a lot. That's good. <laughs> All right. But I want to get to the bottom line here. Let's see what he's got. What is the offer here? Okay, it's fifty four ninety five right now, and uh, no idea he's willing to give you seventy five percent of that. Probably got some kind of back end deal going on there too. But uh, it does sell well, it says, and there are a lot of marketers that are selling it. So we're going to go ahead and go with that one. So that is one of our products. You're going to do four to six of those. Get those in here, and you can even punch them in this spreadsheet. I'm going to give you a copy of this. Now, the next step for us is to head over to Google to the keyword tool here. We're going to use two tools here. We're going to use the keyword tool and the traffic estimator. For the keyword tool, let's just do learn guitar. You can do any real generic term. You only need one term in here for this, something that really well describes the product or the niche that the product is in. Leave that use synonyms on and get keyword ideas. And then we just see, you know, what it comes up with. Uh, this is going to give us a good idea of how much traffic is out there. And it will also let us build that keyword list, uh, which we'll use not only for this phase, but we'll use a lot of this later on as well. Learning guitar... Learn guitar. Okay, there are quite a few in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding things. Learning guitar. Notice February's uh, search volume is a bit down. That's for last month. But I'm going to click on any of these that look 
like they would fit that niche pretty good. And you only need, I mean, really, you only need a handful of these keywords. But we're going to start with, you know, as much as we can, easy to learn songs on guitar, not quite laser targeted enough for me. How to play guitar, that's a good one. So the synonyms, fortunately, when you do the synonym option there, it gives you, you know, we didn't do guitar lessons or how to play guitar. We want to learn guitar. If I wanted to even, I could just do guitar. Bass guitar has got a ton of searches. Guitar by itself, pretty high. Okay. And that looks... It looks like that might be all that I'm going to grab from here. And I guess for illustrative purposes, I would, if this was an actual campaign, I might, eh, you know what, I might actually go ahead and do this one just for kicks, just to see what happens with it. I always like to test new markets. Because you never know what you might get. Okay, but for enough, uh, we've got enough for what we need right now. Now, here's the trick. What you're going to do when you get these, and again, you're only looking for a handful, maybe a dozen keywords, not even that many, um, because we're going to be building on to this list kind of as we go. And really, when it comes down to it, even with your advertising later on, you don't want a humongous list. The days, you know, I'm going to get into this whole uh, adver AdWords kind of thing later on in that particular section on sending traffic. But the days of long tail keywords is over. You no longer put, you know, 500 keywords in your campaign. Things need to be very focused. And you'll see why later on. I mean, we're going to go through a lot with just these few keywords here. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and click this link for CSV. That'll give me an Excel type file. And my trusty blocker there is not letting me open that up right away. Um, what I'm going to do is highlight those. We're going to right click and copy those. Head right back to Google, and we're going to click on Tools and go down to the Traffic Estimator. Here we're going to right-click and paste. So we take that same list, pop it in here. Now, pick our currency, pick our maximum CPC. I'm going to start at 50 cents. What's our budget? You know, all of this stuff is very speculative. I want to tell you that. Everything that you do that has to do with Google is an estimate. I mean, it's as approximate as it can be, but this is the only data that we have to go off of, right? So this is what you've got to play with. I'm going to go ahead and do $500 for our daily budget. This is just an estimate how much I'm willing to spend. If it seems like I'm hitting that budget, then for my test... You know, I'm going to, I'll still leave it at 500, but that's good news because that means that chances are I can get as much traffic as I want from this later on if it turns out to, you know, work out good. I'm going to do all countries. I'll go ahead and add that because this is all downloadable stuff. I don't care if they, uh, you know, they can go ahead and be anywhere they want. We'll do continue there. And here's the numbers that we get. We're going to use these numbers. Okay, but first, what we want to do is find out, is this really, the, you know, is this the best I can do? So out of Guitar Learn to Play, it says if I'm going to bid 50 cents, I'm going to get in positions 1 to 3, and I can expect 32 to 46 clicks a day and 20 to $30 ad spend. So my total is a couple of hundred clicks, maybe 300, and I'm going to spend up to 150, 70 to $150 a day. On ad spend. Now, all of this stuff is going to come into play big time 
when we run this through the evaluator spreadsheet. But before I do that, I want to see if I can max out because right now, here's my estimated ad spend, right? My cost per click. So I'm going to bump this up to 75 cents, get some new estimates. And lo and behold, now notice I don't see any 75s, but I do see a 74. That means this is as much as I can spend at 74 cents. That means I'm going to get position one more than likely. Okay, did I get some more clicks? I picked up a few, possibly an extra 60, but I'm going to pay an extra $100 for that because we're going with maximum numbers. That's what we really care about at this uh, phase in the game. Okay, so out of these keywords, and again, I might, if I'm really going to try to do this myself, I would probably spend a little more time on my keyword selection and get some things that are definitely like focus. Right now we're dealing with learn a whole lot. Uh, and I would probably throw in some extra stuff in there just to, you know, get a good feel for what's available. Do some more research, in other words. But I'm going to do download as CSV. And again, we'll just do open because all that I want to do, you don't have to worry about any of the stuff up here because my spreadsheet already takes that into account. So we're just going to go ahead, grab that and copy it. And I'm going to right click right there and paste that and all matches up with my columns that I've already got in this spreadsheet. Obviously my keywords are right here, my maximum cost per click, and then I've got my low and high cost per click and high and low uh, position in my ads. And for those of you that don't know, let me do real quick. I'm going to go to Google here. And we'll do learn to play guitar. And this has got, all right, here are positions one through three. And there is a whole, you know, big theory about where the best position is. I'm not going to really get into that right now. But these are positions one through three. These are four through 11. Now, I really don't suggest that you get much past seven, really four to seven. Uh, those are the ones, or I should say seven and above. Those are the ones that people really pay attention to. Okay, but that's the ad positioning, and that's what this is talking about. So if I pay, if I'm willing to pay up to 75 cents, I'm going to pay 74, and I'll get in position one for that. Notice the span there, okay, 25 cents almost, 24 cents for those three positions. If I wanted to get in position four, I could drop my uh, CPC. This stuff right here too, uh, the clicks per day, Google is estimating that you're going to get these many clicks depending on your position. They don't know how good your ad is. They don't know a whole lot about you. So that's why I say this information is very subjective, but that's all that we've got to work with. Your ad might be killer, and you could be in position five and get more clicks than anybody else. Okay? But uh, anyhow, that's what we're working with. And then we've got our cost low and high for the day. Now, where does all this come into play? According to our process sheet, our action steps, we have gone to ClickBank, to the marketplace, and let's say we've got our four to six products. We have done some keyword research just in a matter of minutes. You know, it doesn't have to take you a whole long time. And even if I, like if I wasn't explaining this to you, I could do the keyword research in the same amount of time that you just saw me do it right now, right? Even though this isn't a very extensive list. We've done that research. We've built our list and we've got some valuable data. How is this data valuable? How is it going to help us? That's where this worksheet comes in handy. Let me tell you how to work this. It's very simple. The gray cells already have formulas in them, all of these gray cells. They are going to calculate things for you automatically. The green cells, that's where you're going to put information. Okay, so let's say our keywords. So let's grab the keywords, and we'll do copy. And... 
Let's paste them right there. Now I'm going to do keep the destination formatting so everything looks nice and green still. All right. And now we're looking for our daily volume. Now for this, we're going high end. Okay, so I'm going to go with the clicks per day high. Let's copy that. And again, paste it. And I'm going to keep the uh, destination formatting there. The next thing that we want to get is our cost per click. And again, I'm going to go high because I'm wanting to see, you know, as much traffic as I can possibly get. Let's do worst case scenario. And we'll paste that and keep the uh, destination formatting. Now, you notice what happened when I punched that stuff in. All of a sudden, all these fields got populated. This here did, this here did, and a bunch of stuff happened over here as well. Now, it's not totally complete yet because I haven't entered in my commission. So in this particular case, we have found that we get $25.91. So we're going to punch in $25.91, and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to spread this out just a little bit. Now, I've got some factors in here that are very important for us to consider. The conversion rate. I'm estimating 1%. This is a safe place to start. You're going to have to keep an eye on this campaign and see what it actually does. But that's where we're going to start. And again, I mean, when you're doing these estimates and you're trying to determine if it's going to be, you know, something that's possible to work out, you got to start somewhere, right? So we're going to start at 1%. A refund rate of 3%, which is pretty nominal. That's okay. And then here's our commission. Now, here's what the spreadsheet is calculating for us. And again, this is really worst case scenario, but with a lot of traffic, okay, high costs and a lot of traffic. Our click inventory is the amount of traffic that Google is saying it's able to give us. Again, it doesn't know how good our ad is. Uh, these are just estimates. You might have a way better ad, whatever, but that's the numbers that we got to work with. Our average cost per click is 71 cents which is pretty high, okay? But it's taking that average by, again, this is in the gray cell, right? So it's calculating this for us. Uh, some of these clicks are down 67 cents, up as high as 74 cents. But it's taking the total cost and the number of clicks that we actually get, and it's giving us an average. The number of conversions per day, this is at a 1% conversion rate. So that means 100 clicks, and we're going to get one sale. Refunds. Refunds are going to be really low because we're only getting, you know, 3.6 sales per day. So refund rate is not going to be very high. The net conversion is still 3.5. How much are we going to make in commission a day? $91.23. We're going to make $100, but how much are we going to spend every day? $256 for a net loss of $164.91. Now, this is why this phase, you know, this is the step that people miss and they end up losing a ton of money. I can tell right out of the gate that at this phase in the game, this is not going to work unless I can find cheaper keywords that are still going to get me traffic or I can spend a lot less money on my keywords, I'm going to lose money hand over fist with this product. What this is telling me here, and again, this is calculated for you automatically, is the break-even cost per click, $0.25. Cents. That's as much as I can afford to spend and break even. Now, if I punch in all these numbers here and I break even, then that's okay. I'm okay with that because that means, you know, I can at least work with it. Even if I was losing a little bit of money, it's still feasible. But, I mean, losing like this much, really, believe it or not, that amount right there 
is kind of borderline. Um, I can do a campaign that is losing that amount of money, and I can probably still, you know, work around it and and turn it into a profitable campaign. But you don't want to start with something like that, okay? So when you first get going with this, you want to do your four to six campaigns, uh, your four to six products, and you want to try to find one that's breaking even. If you can't find the, you know, if the best one is not breaking even, then you're going to go with the one that's losing the least amount of money. <laughs> because, again, this estimator, I mean, really, there's a lot of factors in here. We're dealing with Google's data, okay, folks? Uh, Google's data is not exactly uh, as accurate as they would like you to believe it. Uh, but let's go uh, back here real quick to the estimator. I'm going to drop this down to 45 cents. You're going to find out we get totally different numbers here. Notice that my traffic, I mean, I've lost some traffic, but my ad spend is like way down. Okay, so let's see what happens if I download this. We're going to do the same thing. Just copy this, and I'm going to head back over here to my, uh, if I can find my, <laughs> got so many windows open here now. I'm going to head back over here, and I need to get rid of all of this just so I don't have extra data there. Um, copy that again, and paste. Now, I know I've got the same keywords, same cost per click, max or uh, a new maximum cost per click. But I'm going to grab my new high traffic and we're going to punch that in there. Oops, lost it. Sorry about that. And let's get my cost per click is right there. Notice I am hitting that 45 that I entered in there. And let's see what happens now. In this case, again, clicks went down, 275 clicks a day. My average cost per click is 45 cents. That's because all of them are exactly 45, right? Here is one thing with this. With my ad, if I've got a really good quality ad, if I've got a good, well-done landing page that's got the keywords on it that Google's looking for, and I've got a good quality score, my cost per click is going to be less than that. It's not going to be 45 cents. Okay, That's why I say if these numbers are really close to breaking even, then there's a good chance I can make it work, okay? But anyhow, my average cost per click, 45 cents, number of conversions per day, almost three, and the commissions that I'm going to make a day, $70, I'm going to spend 123 in AdWords. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, you're crazy out of your mind. But again, folks, trust me on this. It's If it's close then there's a possibility for you. But what you don't want to do is, you know, if you go through and you get six products and one of them actually makes money, then obviously that's the one you go with. You don't waste your time on the others. Just for giggles here, if my commission, this is why I say, um, you know, the, the, uh, Gravity of 100 and commission of $30, that $30 is very important. If my commission was $30 on this, um, that helps me out a little bit in this particular case. But that is the way that you do your research and you use this estimator, okay? My goal for this video is not to pick a profitable campaign and show you, uh, you know, that at first pick I can pick a profitable campaign. My goal for this video is to show you how to use these tools, put them together, accumulate your data, and then 
we're going to be evaluating all of that data, and then we go through the process of, you know, weeding out the ones that are not likely to perform well. Again, we've got a whole lot of factors, really, that uh, matter here. Let's say our conversion rate we find out is 2%. Uh, I mean, just that one thing right there gets us into profit here. Okay, and this is one of those things, like, don't worry about the fact that this is $36, and you're like, ugh, I'm going to make 36 bucks a day. No, we find out the campaigns that work, and remember the last thing that we you know, we do when we find a campaign that works after we weed out everything else, we scale it up. If I can put a zero behind this 275, then I'm doing 2,750 clicks a day. I'm going to put a zero behind this number too. So I'm going to be making $363 a day. Okay, so, but simply 1% conversion increase upped it. Okay, so... You know, can you market better? That's the, that's the question here. Can you make it sell better? 1% is just the place that we start. Now, that's the end of Module 1. Up next is Module 2, where we start to do the real intensive keyword research.